Hey everyone, my name is Kristen and I have lost 139 pounds using a ketogenic lifestyle. Today I'm going to do a what I eat in a day. It's a full day of eating keto, but first I'm going to answer a few questions, give you a few updates, and just chat a little. I am 46 years old, I have three kids, and I started my weight loss journey at 332 pounds on July 21st, 2019. And now I am sitting at 193 pounds. I have two more pounds until I am no longer considered obese. I was classified at my doctor's office as level three severe morbid obesity. So that's really exciting. I am going to, and no matter what people say about the BMI calculator, when I go to the doctor, I'm not going to have that categorization of obese in my medical records when I go back. And that's a exciting, I guess that's a scale victory or non-scale. I don't know where it's classified, but I'm excited about it. So anyway, um, so that's that. I've lost 139 pounds. So the scale is moving again. And if you look at what I eat, it's all things that I like to eat. I don't worry about what other people think I should eat. It works for me and I do total carbs. I can't do net carbs because I get hungry, ravenous, and I have cravings when I do net carbs. And I think that's a huge problem right now, especially with all the new keto products on the market that people are not doing well on keto because they do net carbs and they eat all of the keto products. So that's my little advice for you. If you're having trouble with net carbs and you're still having cravings, you should try total carbs like I do. And I'm not strict about the 20, but I try to get as close as I can as possible to the 20. And that helps me with cravings and hunger. I need to go buy sneakers. I that I love my Nikes. They're so comfortable, but they gave me a blister after my seven mile walk. So I only got a two mile walk in today and two miles doesn't cut it for me. I really feel fantastic when I get at least a four mile walk in and that's what I shoot for. It just makes me feel really good. And I don't necessarily do walking for weight loss. I do it to make me feel good and that's what's happening. So I need to get new shoes and I'm gonna answer a few questions that people have asked me. The first question was, did I have a lot of hair loss? And if I did, do I use collagen products? The answer is I actually had hair loss, horrible hair loss well before I started keto. And I think it was because I didn't get enough protein in my diet. I tried collagen for a few months and after doing research, I decided not to continue it. If somebody wants to send me some collagen for free, uh, sure, I'll take it just in case, but I just don't see, I didn't see any benefit. My hair does not fall out at a in alarming rate like it did pre-keto. And the fact is, if you change your lifestyle and you kind of shock your system, you're gonna lose hair at first. And um, the only thing that you can really do is increase that protein. I haven't bought into the collagen yet. If somebody, you know, sends me a definitive answer on it, then maybe, but I feel like I can get my collagen from my steak bones. Yes, I gnaw on my steak bones. I eat chicken bones. So I get natural collagen that way and I just don't think I can, I. I don't want to spend that much money on it. I don't know. I, I, you know, I don't have a ton of money. The second question was, if you're having a lot of sugar alcohols and you're stalled and you're eating maltodextrin or um, maltitol, should you stop? And absolutely, you should stop. You should take out all the sugar alcohols if you're not losing weight and if it's causing you issues. Um, I. I don't test my ketones anymore. I don't have a working ketone meter. And again, I don't want to spend money on it because I lose weight without one. But I, when I, I, it was very beneficial in the beginning. And I figured out that I can't handle maltitol. 
I can't handle maltodextrin, uh, a lot of it. And I do eat it occasionally, but it's only if I know I can feel I'm, I've been kicked. Um, so yeah, if you want to lose weight and those things are making you feel hung, those things make me feel hungry. I was ravenous. I was still eating. I ate some chocolate from Trader Joe's actually. And that's when I was like, what is going on? Why am I so hungry? And I saw that it had that ingredient. I went to GNC and I bought a Keto Mojo and that's how I figured out I was not in ketosis. So if you are struggling, cut out the sugar alcohols. It's what has helped me. Those are the questions that I have recently had. I try to answer all the questions in my comments as much as possible. I might miss them if you put them under somebody else's comment because I don't get alerted or notified. So you comment under somebody else, but I try to answer the questions. And you can always send me an email at kljohn75 at gmail.com and I will answer you from there. If you please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It really does help my channel grow. And without further ado, here is my full day of eating. It was a short day of eating because I ate early and I only had two meals and that's how I roll sometimes. I do what makes me feel good and I wanna encourage you all to do what makes you feel good. Don't worry about other people. Sometimes I get wrapped up in that and I look at other people and I'm like, why do they get to eat that carbs? Why are they? And then I'm like, you know what? Just don't worry about it. It just do what makes you feel good and continue the road to health. All right, I will see you guys in a little bit. up and stole my first batch of bacon so I made another batch I'm having seven pieces of uh, fully cooked bacon that I reheat in the air fryer for three minutes That's mama. that is mama's you have your own and then I have baba. yes that does say baba Mama's and then I have two K cups of the great value chocolate triple chocolate um, coffee that I love and then I put in a half of a serving of premier protein which is 2.5 carbs and a splash of the vanilla skinny syrup and then I have 32 ounces of water that I splash with some Mio sport water enhancer so I'm going to eat this up and I'll see you all in the next set. breakfast I'm actually having something new today I am having cottage cheese topped with some sweet jam and I like the good culture cottage cheese, the lower fat, because it's lower calories and high protein, 14 grams of protein. It has three carbs and 2.5 grams of fat. So I'm having one serving of that. And then I'm having half a serving of this strawberry jam, the keto friendly sweet strawberry jam from Good Good. And this will be at uh, two carbs, so four, five total carbs is added to my, the rest of my breakfast. So I'm going to eat this up and I'll see you all in the next segment.
misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say, Do you feel the same way? Here's my air fryer chicken. I'm still trying different ah. recipes to see what I like. So I'm going to plate this up. Okay guys, so I am having a late lunch, early dinner. Instead of having three meals today, I'm having two. I do this sometimes. I made air fryer chicken. I cut chicken breast in half and then I um, coated it with mayonnaise and put it, um, a little bit of garlic, onion powder, and Parmesan cheese and mixed it together and fried it up. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of air fryer chicken is my favorite. I'm thinking this might be it. And then, so I made that, and I have G. Hughes sugar-free ketchup, and this has five calories and one carb per serving, and I'll dip my chicken in my ketchup because I like that. And then I also have my baba water, and I'm going to, I feel, this is my third one. I'll probably have four today, and I splash this with meal water enhancer, and then I have two pieces of peanut butter fudge. So this is my basic keto day when I'm cutting calories. I'm going to eat this up and if you like what you see, could you please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It really does help my channel grow. Oh, and I'm linking the peanut butter fudge in the description down below. All right, thanks so much for watching everyone and have a great day. I